new trouble for Senator Elizabeth Warren, which is just days before she's expected to formally kick off her presidential campaign. The Washington Post is out with a new report revealing a document where Warren claims Native American heritage in her own handwriting. ABC's Whit Johnson is here with more. Good morning, Whit. Michael, good morning to you. Senator Warren's biggest obstacle appears to be her own words, and this time it's in writing. Her claims of Native American ancestry prompting yet another apology, and she hasn't even formally launched her presidential campaign yet. Rules made in Washington matter, and that's why I'm in this fight. This morning, 2020 presidential hopeful Elizabeth Warren is facing oh, renewed backlash over her claims of Native American ancestry. The Washington Post obtaining her 1986 registration for the State Bar of Texas, in which she listed her race as American Indian. And no one, not even the President of the United States, will ever take it away from me. Warren has been plagued by criticism of her various claims of Native heritage throughout her career, even touted as an example of diversity in Harvard's faculty in the 1990s. Warren says Harvard made that claim without her knowledge, but defended her choice to list herself as a minority in a national directory of law professors. These are my family's stories. My papa had high cheekbones like all of the Indians do. The controversy, a favorite pressure point of President Trump, who has repeatedly called Warren Pocahontas and challenged the senator to prove her heritage. I will give you a million dollars to your favorite charity paid for by Trump if you take the test and it shows you're an Indian. In October 2018, Warren did take a DNA test, releasing the results in a campaign video claiming vindication. What do the facts say? The facts suggest that you absolutely have a Native American ancestor in your pedigree. The video drawing strong criticism from a number of groups, including the Cherokee Nation. Last week, after meeting with Cherokee leadership, Warren issued an apology, and this morning, a spokesperson saying, as Senator Warren has said, she is not a citizen of any tribe and only tribes determine tribal citizenship. She is sorry that she was not more mindful of this earlier in her career. Now, a lot of the criticism has been over whether she used those claims of Native American heritage to advance her career. This now marks the earliest documentation of that claim. Again, she put it in writing while registering for a professional organization. That changes things. Oh, yeah. it, it does. does. Yeah. All right, Whit, thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.